Hey guys, in this video, we are going to learn how to build a decision tree classifier to predict the chances of a person being prone to alcohol or not. So the data set that I'm using is the Ad Health data set which was collected in the USA in the year 1994 to 95 and the project is based on the following research work which would be linked in the description. So let's get right into the code. So the first thing that we need to do is install dependencies. The only dependency that we need here is GraphWiz. This is used in plotting the decision tree and I've already installed it. So once that is installed, we need the following modules to run our code. Pandas is used to read CSV. NumPy is always for array manipulations. OS is used in changing directories. Sklearn provides or uh, scikit-learn provides few functions for the decision tree classifier. So then we change our directory to where the data set is present. In my case, it is a trees folder in the C directory. So then we use the read CSV method in pandas to read the CSV file. This is the name of the CSV file. So then a decision tree does not work with NA values. So we drop NA and then we describe our data set. This gives us an idea of how our data set and the features that are present in it. So this is the data set. So these are few of the features in our data set. So if we consider age here, there are a total of 4,575 samples. The mean or the average age is 16.549. The standard deviation is 1.55. The minimum age is 12.67. 25% of the age or 25% of the population in the data set has the age of 15.25. 50% have an age of 16.50. 75% have an age of 17.67 and the maximum age is 21.51. So once we describe our data set, we set the predictors. So the predictors are basically the features which uh, decide whether the person will be prone to alcohol or not. So it has features such as gender, the ethnicity like Hispanic, white, black, Native American and few other features like self-esteem, parental assistance, deviant behavior, school connectedness, GPA, family connectedness, parental pressure. You, I would link the data set uh, and you could go through it in the description. So then we set the target variable. The target variable determines whether the person will be prone to alcohol or not. So basically it is a 1-0 value in the data set. 0 indicates that the person has no problems for his set of features. 1 indicates that the person may have chances of problems. And uh, so once we set the target variable, we divide our uh, data set into 60 to 40 ratio. That is, uh, we do it using the following uh, train test split function. So the test size is 0.4. So once we split that, uh, we print the shape. That is the number of samples. So here you can see that uh, 2745 rows and 24 columns are in the training data and 1830 rows and 24 columns are in the test data. So once we do that, uh, what we do is classifier is equal to decision tree classifier and uh, we fit it. This is the function in scikit-learn. So we use the training data and the target training data. So once we fit that, we use the classifier.predict function which gives us a metric to predict and then finally we print the confusion matrix and the accuracy score so here what we get is so this is our uh, confusion matrix here so this is our confusion matrix that is a uh, true positive true negative so 168 are the person who are falsely labeled that is they consume alcohol but it was told that they don't have problems with alcohol and 202 are the people who do not have do, do not have problems with alcohol but it was labeled that they have problems with alcohol and this is the final accuracy which is 79.78 percent so once we do that the most important thing here is to plot the decision tree so this is the code used to plot the decision tree so what this does is it generates a file named as fruit classifier.txt so that file which is generated here it's a text file so we take the data in the file and then we go to webgraphwish.com and then we paste it here and generate graph it will take some time so here we go we get our uh, tree here so as you can see it's a very huge tree and because there are a lot of samples 
and uh, this is our entire decision tree we use in graphviz.com so if you go to a particular node so i'll try to go to the root node so if we go into our root node so as you can see it uses something called knee it is a index based and it is used in card trees that is classifier and regression trees so initially there will be so many samples present and once we go to the left side these the samples are reduced so true comes this way and false goes that way similarly we keep on pruning the decision tree unless we are either left with no samples or the guinea index is zero so here the guinea index is zero so it was stopped and in few cases when there is only one sample remaining there you couldn't split it further on so in that case we stop the plotting the decision tree so that's pretty much it in this video thank you for watching do like share and subscribe